All right, SoulCon gentlemen, are you ready to get in it? Are you ready for some? Here we go. Today we're going to talk about evangelism. Okay, don't freak out. I know some people get nervous. They're like, I don't know how to share my faith. I don't know what I should do and all of this and that. We're going to break down some principles here. We're going to go over what the scriptures actually say and communicate about sharing our faith and learn whether or not sharing our faith is actually, is that for me or is that for the pastor? Is that for people who are only gifted in it? Who's that for? All right. So this is something that's really near and dear to my heart because I've always been more of an evangelist, but I want to communicate something to you. I want to get away from the idea that evangelism is just for people that are gifted in it. Okay. It's not. Okay, evangelism is about you and your relationship with God. It's about the testimony that God has been building for your entire life. Okay, you don't have to have the whole Romans road memorized. You don't have to know every scripture verse and every apologetic reference to be successful at sharing your faith. And remember, it's a command for us to be out there, to be preaching the gospel, to be making disciples, Okay, we're supposed to be doing this. God is asking us. It's a command. We're supposed to step out and do that. I'm going to talk about one verse today, and then we're going to break it down, and hopefully I'll get a chance here to encourage you, all right? Go to Matthew 28. We're going to pick it up in verse 19. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands that I have given you, and be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Okay? The better translation for this verse, if you were to look back at it, the original text, because some people get nervous, they're like, oh, the go and make disciples, so I got to get up, I got to pick a far off country, I have, to, I have to go someplace else and go preach the gospel. No, a better translation for this verse is, as you're going through the world, make disciples, preach the gospel, baptize, and teach them to obey. Okay, so God isn't concerned about us going to these far-reaching places. Like some people, some of you guys can, some of you have the resources to be able to, some of you are called to do that, to go to Africa, to go to these different areas and preach the gospel and live out the gospel. However, for the vast majority of us, we can effectually teach the gospel, create disciples right where we're at. And that's the commandment of Scripture. Look, the number one way you're going to make disciples, the number one way above all things, simply put, is going to be building relationships with people around you. That's it. If you've ever sat down with an individual and you've had an apologetic debate, you know, you talked about facts with this religion, facts of that religion, trying to point back to Jesus and say, look, Jesus is the, he's the way, the truth, and the life, and no one gets to the Father except through him, trying to draw that absolute truth line Okay, you can tell at the end of that debate, there really wasn't much flex on either end, right? The individual didn't say, well, I want to be a Christian. If he did, I mean, that's a rarity for that to happen, okay? But the best way for you to build disciples, to share the gospel, is to start creating relationships with people, okay? One of the best ways for you to do that, invite somebody out to church, and then afterwards, invite them out to lunch. Get to know them. Invite them into your home. Have dinner with them. Do things with this other individual who you're preaching the gospel to. God isn't concerned about volume, okay? He doesn't want you to preach the gospel to everybody all at once. Just deal with what's right in front of you, what he's given you. Be faithful with what God has given you. And be reminded here, in the end, it says, And be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. It's not just you. God is going to be with you through the process. He's going to be with you through the journey. You're going to make mistakes. That's why we have an incredible grace from God. So don't worry about that. Um, just get out there. Start with the people in your life. Start preaching that gospel to yourself. Start making disciples of other individuals. One of the best models for discipleship is this. Um, let's see if I can get it right. Okay. I do. You watch. We talk. Okay. So we do something. You watch me do it, and then we talk about it. And build that model out. So then we do, we talk. You do, I watch, we talk. This is our church's discipleship model. So bring somebody else into your life. Do the intimate things with them. Have lunch. Get coffee. Invite them into your home. That's how you start creating disciples. That's how you start making followers of Jesus Christ. It's by personally investing in them. And you have to be intentional. Remember that God cares about the individuals immediately in your life. You don't have to go someplace else. Just start right where you're at. All right? For the glory of the Lord and the hope of the nations.
preach the gospel, and stay the course.